Welcome to Kaizen Debate Number Twenty Three: Shopping Malls. Some malls in America have banned teens. Is this fair? Teens say going to the mall is a right, but some malls say it's a privilege. What do you think? Before we begin our discussion, let's learn a few of the words you will hear throughout the debate. A company. A company is a verb, which means to go with. Intimidate. Intimidate is a verb, which means to scare. Privilege. Privilege is a noun, which means honor. And now, back to our debate. Some malls in America have banned teens. Is this fair? It's Friday night, and you're going to a birthday party, but you don't have a present yet. So you and a friend make a quick trip to the mall. But when you arrive, a security guard tells you to leave. You tell him you haven't done anything wrong. But it doesn't matter. The mall has ordered a ban on teens. This is really happening in Bloomington, Minnesota. Bloomington's Mall of America recently banned kids under 16 after 6 p.m. on weekends, unless an adult accompanies them. Mall officials took this drastic action. Because store owners and customers complained that most kids were disruptive, they said teens roamed around in packs and intimidated people. Many other malls are considering bans as well, but some say bans like this are unfair. Opponents of the bans say they discriminate against a whole group of people just because of a few troublemakers. What do you think? Is a mall ban fair? Let's hear the affirmative position. The yes. Lots of kids go to malls just to cause trouble. Bans are a good way to keep these kids under control. Also, malls are private property. That means they don't have to let in kids if they don't want to. Besides. Kids spend too much time at the mall as it is. They should be doing something productive, rather than wandering around malls all day. Going to malls is a privilege, not a right. Let's hear the negative position. The no. This is a violation of kids' rights. Kids spend money at malls, just like everyone else, and they're entitled to equal treatment. Also, malls have replaced the downtown area in many communities. Kids don't have other places to go. Anyway, it's unfair to punish all kids just because some of them cause trouble. There are other ways to deal with troublesome kids besides a ban. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Talk about it. If malls aren't allowed to ban teens, what can malls do to control teen problems at the mall?